Hola, me llamo Pedro Fernando Andes. Es una short introduction to Animal Flow. This will go perfectly with your morning mad water. I invite you to move with me. A lot of people nowadays are not moving enough. They are more sedentary. They are not in touch with their bodies. Animal Flow is a fitness program that challenges all of your physical abilities, such as mobility, flexibility, strength, endurance. But at the same time, your mind is definitely involved in it because there's a bunch of coordination. This is absolutely movement for everybody. We like to call it that way in the Animal Flow community. It all can be performed in a very limited space. You need no equipment and it has infinite possibilities. This practice is about experiencing the full range of movement of the human animal that you are. Animal Flow was created 10 years ago by Mike Fitch. It's a fitness program that include different animal-based positions and we move in and out of them to create flows. We're gonna dive right into the practice. I want you to follow along with me. So find a space wherever you are, just a little bit more space than a yoga practice and let's get ready to move our bodies. This is Sarah Folsom. She's gonna help us in today's short but sweet animal flow class. So let's get our hands together and let's start drawing circles in one direction. We really want to keep the blood and the energy and the oxygen flowing in and around the soft tissue of the wrist during, after and before every animal flow practice. So let's go out and switch the circles and let's breathe consciously from now on and let's move now into this drill to keep our wrists strong let's switch directions we're doing like a wave and now we're gonna go into the ground okay we're gonna learn the abcs of animal flow a stands for ape b stands for beast and c stands for crab this deep squat is an ape. So you really want to try to keep heels grounded. You want to try to check your back and keep it as straight as possible. Try to pull your shoulders back and try to hold yourself steady in that position. You're going to be working out as soon as you get down. Let's move now into B. So whenever we go to beast, we're gonna plant both hands and feet in the ground. And we're gonna start by checking that our hands are in the same line of our shoulders. So super steady arms, your knees and the feet in the same line of your hands, wide open hands, elbows looking forward, knees over the line of the hips, okay? Just below the belly button. You can use that as a reference. So if you see me from the side, I want you to be sure you're not here and you're not here, but you can use the belly button as a reference. Open up your fingers, spread your fingers, really feel yourself grounded, push with both feet and lift your knees, just one inch. Okay, from here, keeping our back super straight, you're gonna lift the left foot just one inch. You can see it with your eyes, that toe getting up just one inch and down. Let's go to the right foot. Just one inch, try to hold yourself steady. Redistribute the weight, feel the tension down the right foot. Let's go to right hand, just one inch. Keep the knee slow, hold it strong. Down the right hand, last one, left hand. Just one inch, hold it strong. Feel your knees and down the left hand and down the knees. Let's breathe for a second. We are gonna do one more time all this sequence and we're gonna add the contralateral limb lifting. So, let's go back to beast. Knees, one inch of the ground, super strong arms, super strong feet. Let's lift the right foot, just one inch. Hold it strong, feel the tension. Two, one, down the right foot. Left foot goes up, just one inch. Redistribute the weight, down the left foot. Let's go to the left hand. This is gonna be challenging, get up. Just one inch, hold it strong for three, two, one, down. Right hand, just one inch, pull up from your scalp. Right hand is up, 
three, two, one, down. And now the last one. I want you to try to lift right foot and left hand at the same time, keeping your knees low, keeping your back straight. Hold it, three, two, one, down. Let's switch. Right hand, left foot, hold it strong. Three, two, one, down, relax. Good job. My body is absolutely warmed up. Now we're gonna move into crab. So the crab looks like this. We're gonna have our feet keeping the distance of the hips. We're gonna have our hands facing backwards, keeping the shoulder distance. Please never rotate your hands inwards, always outwardly rotated. And from here, I want you to be sure that your hips are not close to your feet, they are not close to your hands, but they are exactly in between them. So if you see me from the side, you should be pointing a capital M, okay? So from here. Shoulders all the way back. Let's open up our chest. I want a big, proud chest. Eyes looking towards the rising sun, just a little bit above the horizon. So watch out not to keep tension to your neck, but just a little bit up. And from here, we're gonna push with both feet and hands, and our hips are gonna go up just one inch off the floor. Let's hold it strong here. Four, three, Breathe, one, and now we're gonna lift the left foot, just one inch. Hold it super strong, breathe consciously. Down the left foot, let's move into the right foot. Just one inch, we are activating our bodies. Let's create tension, down the right foot. Let's move into the right hand, just one inch. Super strong, you should feel it in the right leg and the left hand, down the right hand. Let's move into left hand, just one inch. Hold it strong, hold it steady. Find your balance, down the left hand. And now the most challenging one, contralateral limb lifting, right hand and left foot. Just one inch of the ground. React, hold, breathe, down, switch, right foot, left hand, hold it strong. Three, two, one, down. We are ready to flow now, guys. Now I'm gonna show you the flow that we're gonna perform at the end of this class. So I would say, Sarah, give me just a little bit of space. So just walk a little bit there, there we go. So I'm gonna start here in ape. I'm gonna call it out, and then we're gonna break down the movements for all of us to practice this together. So we're gonna set ape. We're gonna do a lateral trialing ape version one. We're gonna do a left leg reaching under switch. Right leg under switch, left leg, side kick through. And relax. Let's begin with the very first move that we have, that is that lateral trialing ape. In animal flow, we have a component that is called trialing forms, where we use animal locomotion patterns. So let's go ahead, Sarah, and let's set a deep ape, that it will be a deep squat. And when I wanna do a left lateral trailing ape version one, I'm gonna raise my heels, so I'm already activating. I'm gonna plant my hands in a cross body contact, so right hand in front of left foot, left hand in the same line, keeping the shoulders distance. From here, I'm gonna drive into my hands, do a little jump and land with my right foot behind my left hand, left foot in the same line, heels down, hands up. That's one rep. Let's do one, 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 one. Okay, four reps. Heels up. Let's do right. Lateral trailing ape. Version one. Complete. Let's go to the left. Lateral trailing ape version one. Let's do two more. A goal would be to keep the hips low. And as long as you can hold that position in the air, you're really gonna be working on hand balancing. So, heels up, last one, left, lateral trailing ape, version one. And breathe, let's get up for a second. Let's breathe. Nice, let's go down again. So, we're in ape, we need to get into a craft. So, here we can use what we call in animal flow a reaching under switch. That is part of the switches and transitions components of the discipline. And if I'm in ape 
and I want to do a left leg reaching under switch, you can try to follow along with me, Sarah. I'm going to reach with my left hand, creating a 45 degree angle, okay? So if this is 90, this is roughly 45, 45 back. And from here, I'm just going to reach forward, plant your left hand. And now keep your right arm super strong, lift your left foot, go underneath your body, and we land in crab at the same time. Let's do that again, just to the other side. Let's go to the other side, and then we're gonna perform just twice to each side. So again, we are in deep ape, heels grounded. Let's lift our heels, and we're gonna do right leg reaching under switch. That means reach with your right arm, keep your left arm up. Lift your right foot, goes underneath your body, and you land at the same time, right foot and left hand. And now we are in this proper crab. Okay, guys, good job. Take your time. Be patient with yourselves. Let's do it twice to each side. So let's go again. We are in ape. Heels up. Let's do left leg, reaching under switch. And Relax, let's go back to ape. Now let's do it to the right side. We can breathe in as we go, as we lift our body, and we can breathe out as we land. So from here, heels down, heels up, right leg reaching under switch, into crab, nice. Two more and we got this. So we are in deep ape. Let's lift our heels, left leg reaching under switch, and back to ape and from here we're gonna do right leg reaching under switch heels down heels up reach and land at the same time good job remember go as fast as you can control and keep in mind you're expressing yourself so if you feel doing something different with your arms that's totally fine okay so we've seen the reaching under switch we've seen the lateral trialing ape Let's move now to our regular under switch. So we use the under switch to go from one position to another, from A to B, from B to C. So we've done the reaching under switch to go from ape to crab. Now we're gonna use the under switch that we use it to go from beast to crab and from crab to beast. So let's go ahead and set beast together. And if from beast, I want to do a right leg under switch to crab. That means I'm going to lift right foot and left hand. My right foot is going to go underneath my body and I'm going to land in this, at least we wanted, perfect crab. So let's go back to beast and let's do it just one more time. So again, we set beast, proper beast. Remember the details, we lift. Right foot and left hand, we go underneath, we plant our heel, plant foot and hand at the same time, okay? That's the challenge. Let's do now two to the other side, okay? Let's keep on going from beast to crab. So, we are in beast. Let's do left leg under switch. We lift right hand, left foot, we rotate, we go underneath, we plant at the same time, that was great. And last one, from beast to crab. Come on, guys. Set beast. Let's do left leg under switch. We lift, goes underneath. Boom. We land in crab. Good job. Okay, so that's under switch from beast to crab. Let's move now into under switch from crab to beast. It's basically the same story, but I want you to point a little deal that I'm gonna show you with the foot. So if I'm in crab and I wanna do right leg under switch to beast, I lift right leg and left hand, I push the ground with my left foot, that means lift the heel, bring my arm into the midline and I rotate all the way and I plant at the same time, okay? As long as I hold that position and I do it slowly, I'm really gonna be working out on my stability, on my balance, on my coordination. So you wanna go, Sarah, show us one time if I tell you left leg under switch to beast, push the gas exactly and you land in perfect mix. That's perfect. So let's go together now, let's do twice to each side. So 
We are in crab. Boom, proper crab. Remember, proud chest, eyes to the horizon, actually to the rising sun, just a little bit forward, watch out. Maybe your chin goes to your chest. Just keep it a little bit up. So from here, let's do left. Leg, under switch, to beast. Lift, push the gas, bring the arm, and land in beast. Good job. Okay, let's go back to grab. Plant the proper grab, breathe. Enjoy, be present, try to tune into your body, try to breathe consciously. From here, let's do right leg under switch. To beast, push the gas, bring it in underneath your body. Boom, we land in beast. Good job, let's go back to grab. Let's do one more time, to each side. So, we are in crab. Let's do right leg under switch. To beast, and good job. Watch out, remember, listen to the call out. It's all about coordination, it's all about action and reaction. Listen and do. Come on guys, last one, set grab. Let's lift our left foot and our right hand. Push the gas with your right foot. We go underneath and we land in the proper beast. Relax for a second, good job. I want us to do just one little drill for the wrist. And we're gonna go for the last move. So, palms facing up, fingers facing towards ourselves. If you, if you find yourselves in this situation, try to rotate your, shoulder, your elbows for them to look forward. And from here, we're gonna try to lean back. Feel that stretch in your wrist. And relax. Okay, last move, guys. We saw how to go, how to do a lateral trailing ape, how to move in space. We saw how to do a reaching under switch to go from ape to crab. We saw how to go from a crab to beast, doing an under switch. And now the last move is the side kick through. Side kick through is, it's part of the switches and transitions. It's definitely a martial element from this discipline. So basically a side kick through, if I'm in beast, I wanna do left leg side kick through, I'm gonna lift left foot and right hand, rotate my foot creating a 90 degree angle towards this hand, and then I'm gonna just kick with my left leg, externally rotated, toes pointed, elbow all the way back to return, lift the heel, plant hand and foot at the same time. You wanna do one, Sarah? So I can just point a couple of details. So if Sarah sets beast, and I tell her to do right leg side kick through, exactly. So now you wanna watch, now you wanna be sure your toes are pointed, your leg is externally rotated, and your elbow is as far as possible from this toes. So you're really opening up your entire body. Try to keep your heels, your hips low. Try to reach forward with this elbow. And now, to come back, heel goes up. Go back to beast and try to land at the same time. Good job. Okay, let's try this move. Two eyes to each side. Let's put it all together and we're done. So. Let's set beast. Okay, so we are in beast. Let's do right leg, side kick through, lift. Right foot and left hand, rotate, kick. Hold it strong. Let's lift the left heel, breathe in and out as you go down. Let's use our breath, good job, let's breathe. Right hand and left foot up, breathe in, left foot kicks, we breathe out. Keep it strong. Right heel goes up, we go back to beast. Come on, two more times, one to each side. Let's do left leg, side kick through. Lift and kick. Good job, lift the right foot. We are back in beast, and last one, lift. Right foot and left hand, rotate, kick. Hold this strong, three, two, one. Lift your heel, you're back in beast. Good. Sure. Okay, we are ready to perform our first flow. If you don't get it right, just take it easy, enjoy, and in time, you'll get it. So, let's set a deep ape. 
From here, we're gonna do a left, lateral trailing ape version one. Hands in the ground, lift your feet, land. Boom. Now we're gonna do a left leg reaching under, switch left hand reaches, left leg goes underneath our body, we land in crab. From here, we're gonna go to a right leg under switch. So lift, right foot, left hand, left heel goes up, right leg goes underneath, we land in beast. From here, left leg, side kick through lift, right hand, left foot, rotates the right foot and kick. Hold it super strong, three, two, one, boom, relax. Good job. We're gonna do this same flow one last time. To the right, lift your heels, right. Lateral trialing a version one. Right leg reaching under switch, right leg goes underneath, we land in crab. Now left leg under switch, lift your left foot, go underneath, land in beast. Last move, right leg side, kick through, hold it for three, two, one, and we did it. Well done, good job. We covered a lot, we went fast. You can always go over this video again and again. I wish you incorporate this modality into your morning ritual. If you want more information, you can visit animalflow.com. Thank you, Sarah, very much, and thank you.